Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. I don't have much of a life, and you already know that most likely. So this is the reason why I'm getting excited about scanning in UPC symbols into my computer here by holding them up in front of the webcam and then having that webcam recognize them in conjunction with this software. Back Time to my... Legends Power Up by Destiner Incorporated. That's a game, that's a PSP, but I can also scan in a book here. The Production of Space by Henri Lefebvre. And this software here, Delicious Library version 2.0, just released, will take these UPC codes, download the appropriate uh, images and information, and then organize them automatically inside of the program itself, the delicious library, if you will. And it'll even separate the library by types of media. So it automatically categorizes the books that I've scanned in, uh, the movies that I've scanned in, the music, the CDs that I've scanned in, the software that I've scanned in, the video games that I've scanned in, and I can also go in there and add different kinds of shelves, uh, which will dynamically change. So if you will, I can set up smart shelves, smart searches, so that if I wanted to organize all my Xbox stuff, whether it was the game or a book, let's say like a guide, if you will, I can have a virtual shelf of Xbox stuff. And the bottom line is really making taking inventory a heck of a lot more fun. The visible and the invisible by Maurice Merlot. Usually pretty quick, depending on the light and the angle at which you're able to... Versus Jewel Case and Eco Pack by Pearl Jam. Wow, I didn't realize this was the Eco Pack. Or maybe it was saying it was the Jewel Case Eco Pack. Anyway, uh, as long as it's got a UPC symbol, uh, this should be able to pick it up. Now, whether it knows what the product is or not, this is kind of, uh, I guess, reliant on how that was registered. But you could go in and actually manually enter in what uh, a product is in case the barcode is damaged or you can't get your camera to pick it up if you have a webcam. But with Delicious Library, there's the option of buying a Bluetooth barcode scanner uh, and uh, so you could take that around with you, obviously, Bluetooth wireless. You could take it around to your library instead of bringing your library to your computer or your webcam. Um, you, you have many ways that you can input the information into your delicious library. And from that point, uh, what are you going to do with it? Well, you could export it. You could publish it to a website, whether it's your own website or a .Mac website. Uh, you could put it on your iPod or iPhone to carry it around with you. And more, more importantly, I think, how, how often, how, how frequent has it been that you've, let's say, borrowed, or I guess borrowed, lent a game to a friend, they borrowed it, and you forgot what friend you lent it to, when you lent it to them, and what the game was? Delicious Library will let you check things in and out, so you can keep track of who and what and when and potentially where. And how many things have you lost to your friends and neighbors just because you weren't keeping track of them? More importantly, maybe than that, and I keep thinking of all these important things of, of where Delicious Library can help somebody, anybody, whether you're uh, uh, someone who has a lot of stuff or a little stuff, it's just keeping track of things. What would happen if a natural disaster struck? Uh, if the insurance company comes to you and say, well, what CDs did you have? What media did you have? Uh, I don't know. It's a, it's a... Are you really going to go and take a picture of everything, like, individually? I mean, yeah, you might. But, I mean, in terms of, like, smaller pieces of media, like, you know, books and CDs and whatnot, uh, no. But that's, again, where the software can kind of come in handy. Uh, it's fun. It's easy. And in the grand scheme of things, I think it's relatively affordable. Uh, the license for Delicious Library 2.0 is $40. And you may be thinking, whoa, 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 whoa. Well, uh, how much is it worth to you to be able to do something like that? I mean, more than anything, it's the wow factor. And just a few minutes ago, I purchased my license, uh, and I opted to get the Bluetooth barcode scanner because we have a, a lot of books and games and a whole bunch of whatnot lying around. And You know, this is more than anything peace of mind. I mean, consider it kind of like an insurance policy or, I guess, something to accompany your insurance policy. There's many things that this new version can do. It was just released. I know a lot of Delicious Library 1.x owners, not only did they get a discount on this particular upgrade to 2.0, but they've been looking forward to the 2.0 release because of a lot of the optimizations that have been made specifically in relation with the new version of Mac OS X. And 
as I was struggling to think of any delicious library equivalent for Windows, I remembered one piece of shareware that I thought was okay, but then Cat apparently just found out a piece of freeware, and it runs on XP or Vista. It's called Libra. This is free. GetLibra.com, and essentially it does the same thing. It turns your webcam into a barcode scanner. Now, I wouldn't say it looks as good as Delicious Library, but at least you Windows users aren't, you know, left in the cold. Uh, so my choice, of course, since I'm on a Mac here, is Delicious Library. And if you're on Windows, then Get Libra may do everything you always wanted something like it to do, and and then some. It's all about organization. It's all about making it fun. It's all about making it easy. Because this is something that I know even Ponzi would probably like to do. Take inventory, so long as it's got, you know, some kind of UPC code. The next level, and I don't think uh, Delicious Library will do this. I know it'll scan like tools and whatnot, but it'd be really cool to have this in conjunction with some kind of refrigerator where you beep and then have it organized this way and you could order things automatically online. Uh, it's uh, something that you've Definitely got to try. Download a demo, give it a shot, and if you like it, then register it. You can only have 25 items until you register, and that's one of the reasons why I uh, <clears throat> had to register it pretty much right away because I have a lot of items laying around here, and it's it's easy. Which hold it up? Where is it? Hang on, let me find my mouse. I've got too too many mice or mouses, mices sitting around here. Yeah. Cube by D3 Publisher. There you go. So much fun, easy, and. Uh, Certainly, I think, addictive. It's kind of kind of scary if you think about it. Anyway, my email address is chris at perillo.com. Maybe you know of another really cool program for the Mac, Linux, Windows, doesn't matter. I'm a software junkie no matter the platform. Feel free to pass it along, uh, a link to it. And also, feel free to uh, you know comment in this thread here on the blog at chris.perillo.com if you're not already there. And then, of course, you're also welcome to join us in our chat room where we're typically talking tech, uh, latest software releases, hardware upgrades. You know, we just love living the geek lifestyle. What about you? Well, stop by and say hello. We're live, streaming this video out 24 hours a day, seven days a week at live.perillo.com. We'll see you later.